This video will show how I created extra bones, specifically but bones in DAS Studio. But the same method would apply to any bones someone wanted to create. These videos are all geared towards my own learning process of creating and applying target morphs and jiggly physics in Unreal Engine 5. First, set the viewport to wire shader, so that you can better see the character's geometry mesh. Next, find the tool settings and select Geometry Editor. Use the left mouse button to fill out a portion of one of the butt cheeks. I have symmetry on but it's not needed given you only need one cheek area selected at a time. After desired area is selected, right-click, go to Geometry Assignment and choose Create Face Group from Selected. Give this section whatever label you want and then repeat the process on the opposite side. If you click once on the newly created group in the Geometry Editor tool menu it will highlight the area, so you can better see the area to replicate on the opposite side. Set the tool settings to Joint Editor and select the pelvis of your character. Right-click in the viewport and select Create and then Create Child Bone. Give the new bone a name and set the rotation order to YXC. I repeat. Set the rotation order to YXC. Y 
Right-click again and set Align to Auto-Align node. Now align the bone somewhat close as shown here. Doesn't need to be perfect or have any specific placement. Oh no! Almost forgot! In the upper right corner of the tool settings, make sure to click on the selection group setting and select whichever bone was just created. With the bone selected in the skeleton tree, right-click in the viewport, Select Memorize and then Memorize Selected Node Rigging. Now repeat the process with the other bone. Starting with selecting the pelvis and creating a child bone. Next select one of the created bones then select node weight map brush in the tool settings. Right click, go geometry selection, then select by, then face group. Choose the bone you're currently working on. Right-click again, scroll to Weight Editing, and then pick Fill Selected. You can set this to anything really. I just put it at 100. Then select the other bone and repeat the process. But make sure to deselect all, first, with Geometry Selection and Clear Selection. Now you can select a bone, go into parameters, move the sliders around and see the effect. How fn great, right? Now your, or my, bones are done. Only thing left to do is to smooth them out. Under node weight map brush select the smoothing tool and use the left mouse button to slowly make everything pretty. You may want to adjust the tool sensitivity and I usually move the bones to the extremes in the direction I'm smoothing, first. As seen in the video. You know, because when your butt jiggles you want it to not have weird sharp points.
And that's it. Hope this helps. Until next time. Bye.